now hindered by poor conditions of Nigeria's healthcare, bad remuneration, and deteriorating hospital facilities, many medical doctors are abandoning the country for greener pastures abroad. Investigations revealed that although the exodus of doctors is not new, it had been on the increase in the last two years with countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait as their destinations. It was learned that the exodus had increased the workload of those who are still in government service, as many states had not been employing doctors. Now, the Nigerian Medical Association revealed that in urban centers, a doctor attends to 100 patients on a daily basis. Earlier, we had in our studio Tubosun Akeju, a pro public affairs analyst who reacted to this new development. Surprise enemy is just saying it's more alarming. Um, while I agree that uh, you know the health sector in Nigeria is facing a major problem, mm -hmm. um, the doctors, the issue with the doctors is a bit unique because they're not the only ones trying to leave Nigeria. I think that an average Nigeria at this wants moment to escape, wants to, so get, to escape, you know, <laughs> we wants to get another passport or wants to leave the country. And it shows that people are actually losing faith mm -hmm. in the entity called Nigeria. But the doctors is worse because number one, not only do we have a shortage of supplies of doctors in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the few that we have are now leaving Living. the country. And they, to, to speak on the side of the doctors, because I have a couple of them as friends, is the fact that you know medical uh, practitioners are subjected to a bit of mental um, stress that a lot of people, you know, do not they, a lot of them don't even talk about because mm -hmm. when you a patient, when you treat a patient sometimes you can get a bit attached to the case of that patient and so when the patient dies it's very painful and when the patient dies from a situation that you know by your profession that was avoidable but right. you know there was a time I read something on on on, uh, on Twitter about a, a patient that died because someone locked the room where they could have taken something to save the life of the patient or so because sad. the person had gone home you know and the, those doctors continue to live with that trauma. So while a lot of them are passionate about what they do, mm -hmm. they still have a bit of passion for their country, but unfortunately, the environment is not conducive. So it's not enough, you know, for NME to start to shout about the fact that they are leaving because they will continue to leave mm -hmm. until something significant is done about the health sector, until, you know, um, um, the, 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 the welfare conditions, the compensations for doctors, you know, are more compelling. You see people... Before now, professional courses in school was an assurance that when you get out of school, you get, you get a good a job. paying job. Mm. The case is, that's not the case anymore, Sadly. you know, in Nigeria. So a lot of these people are like, I want to get out of this country to go and get somewhere. So, I, I, I mean, uh, the 700 doctors, I saw the numbers I saw online yesterday, only to UK was more than 700. That's only sad. to UK was way more than 700, mm. you know, annually. And I think that we have a big problem on our hands because if the middle income earners and the professional earners are leaving our country and going to another place, then in the next five to 10 years, then we're going to have a debt of um, of good hands to even work and develop and help us create a GDP, you know, that, um, that is enviable in, mm. in, in a country like that.